Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're going to look at a new product release and it's some engine dress up parts for the BMW N55 and S55 engines. We have designed them for those applications but the way BMW's parts work they will fit other models. If you check our website we've got more details on there. So let's take a closer look at what we have here before we fit them onto our M2. First we have the oil filler cap. You can see that CNC machined it has two separate finishes black on the outside and silver anodized in the middle. And it also has some very cool knurling detail on the outside, and that was inspired by high-end hi-fi. Over here, we have the oil filter housing. Again, similar finish to the oil cap over here. Knurling on the outside, silver on the inside, and the standard oil filter assembly goes inside here. When we fit these to the M2, we haven't done an oil change for a couple of thousand miles and the car hasn't really been driven. So we'll just give the car a fresh oil change while we're at it. So something you might want to consider. Over here, we have some oil thermostat dress up parts and that's just to finish off the look to complement with these two parts. You can obviously fit them in isolation depending on what you want to do. That also includes a quarter MPT fitting. So if you want to monitor the oil temperatures, you can do. So that's the parts as they stand on their own. Let's go and put them on our M2 and see what they look like in the engine bay. As you can see, we have now fitted the Evolve engine dress up parts to our M2. Parts are very easy to fit. The oil filler cap is a direct fitment from standard. Again, the same with the oil thermostat parts here. On the oil filter housing cap, the thread here is actually different on every car we've tested it on. So as you've seen, we've actually added lots of threaded holes here so you can try and position the Evolve logo where you want. But overall, I'm really happy with the way the parts look. It does provide a nice bit of bling under the hood and it really complements the even chewy carbon fiber parts that we have the car already. Now the M2, I have mentioned, is my favorite car. It's been a project that's been ongoing and I've said it's completed you know, many, many times. But with these kind of projects, they don't always complete. I'm not sure what's next for this car. Maybe some LCI light upgrades from the front and rear. The front ones, I don't mind too much, to be fair. The rear ones, I will definitely change at some point. But we have so many new project cars now. This kind of gets neglected in terms of the project, but I do actually enjoy driving this car. And when I go on drives to Europe or Wales, for example, it is my first choice of car, especially if the weather's dry.
Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.